Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yacht with an update on our new range of Aqua Compact Pro PCs. So we've been shipping Aqua Compact Pro for about three years now. This is the latest 10th generation. It uses an Intel chipset available in two versions, uh, uh, the Aqua Compact Pro Standard, which uses an Intel i3 processor, and the Aqua Compact Pro Plus, which uses an Intel i7 processor. Both are really small, literally does fit in the palm of your hand. Um, they run directly on DC power, uh, and we've now got 24 volt options available as well as the standard 12 volt option. So let's take a look at the connectivity. On the rear of the unit, you'll see uh, two monitor connections, an HDMI, traditional uh, HDMI type outlet for uh, LCD screens and smart TVs. And then there's also a Thunderbolt or a USB-C type connector, uh, which can also be used as a monitor connection. There's a standard uh, network port, uh, plus also USB ports uh, for connecting up accessories and so on. On the front of the unit, there's an additional uh, USB-C socket uh, together with a USB uh, Type 3 outlet, uh, which is also permanently connected to DC. So if the PC is switched off, you can still use it as a charge point. Uh, there's then an audio jack uh, for allowing connectivity to analog audio. And finally, there's a, a connector on the side for an SD card, which is ideal when you're using um, the package with our Smarter Track software. Later, a bit more on that later. So there's physically the same format for both i3 and i7 models. Typically, an i3 will be fine running charging software like Maxi Time Zero, uh, Euronav C Pro, our own Smarter Track type software. But if you're looking for very fast applications doing 3D processing, certain bathymetric type operations, or maybe radar overlays, the i7 Pro version may be better. Now, in terms of applications, we offer a, a package called Smarter Track, which is a Navionics-based uh, uh, software navigation program. And the beauty of using an Aqua PC is you can take your Navionics cartridge that comes with your chart plotter, uh, insert it into the PC, and read the data from it. You can also copy the chart data across onto the PC. So a nice uh, saving idea there, money-saving idea there. In terms of getting data into the PC, uh, two options are traditional USB to NMEA cable allows you to connect a, an NMEA 0183 type device into the PC, AIS, GPS, instruments and so on. Simply plugs in and auto installs. It's bi-directional as well, so it can also send data out to an autopilot. Uh, and you'll need one per NMEA 0183 device. If your system uses NMEA 2000, our iConvert USB gateway is ideal. Simply tees into the NMEA 2000 network, plugs into the PC, and you've got all your NMEA 2000 data straight into the PC. So two great new little PCs, uh, ideal for marine navigation, office applications, working on board, even entertainment, watching Netflix and so on. Thanks so much for listening.